have you spent countless uh, number of hours in consolidating data and putting together a project status report? Did you know that there is a faster way of generating reports, even at a click of a button? button? Yes, you've heard it right. With Power BI, you can automate your entire project control reporting cycle and uh, save a ton of time in generating the reports. You can create uh, interactive dashboards and really mesmerize your colleagues with what you can do with Power BI. So I have invited an SME on Power BI, Giancarlo uh, Duran Maika, uh, who is not just an SME in Power BI and implementation of Power BI, he has also gained a tremendous success by, by applying Power BI in his project reporting. He is also a Microsoft um, a certified data analyst, uh, Primavera P6 SME and a project control practitioner. So let's hear from Giancarlo what Power BI is and why we highly recommend learning Power BI for any project management and project control professionals. Giancarlo, what do you think about that? Tell us about your opinion on Power BI and why you highly recommend that for any project professionals. Hello, everyone. And yes, sure, uh, Power BI is getting momentum uh, now and everyone is kind of leveraging on all the amazing features that Power BI has to offer. So if I want to a little bit depict what Power BI is capable so Power BI in a nutshell, uh, obviously this is a business analytics service from Microsoft. Uh, it provides interactive visuals and business intelligence capabilities uh, with an interface that is really, really easy to use. So anyone can leverage on the features that Power BI has to offer. And what we want to do with Power BI, we want to make sense of our data with ease and drive quick and confident decisions uh, based on the number, the figures, the project performance we are we are kind of uh, developing across uh, over time, right? So we want to reduce the time we spend uh, in data preparation, and we want to spend more time in kind of analyzing data, taking inform, making informed decisions from the data we are we are delivering to uh, in our project, right? So just to put this in a, in a little context. The things that you can do with Power BI is basically you can connect to any sort of data. Anything you can think of, you, 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 you can be sure you can connect with. So you can get insight from your Oracle Primavera P6. You can get insight from SAP, from Microsoft Project, from the tools that you can think of. And you have more than 45 data connectors right now in this moment in Power BI by default. And this is counting every month. They're adding more and more different data connectors uh, just to make your life easier, right? Then the best part of this, and this is the, one of the parts I really love, is that you can share the insights with anyone. I don't know about you guys, but I, I, I do remember that I, I really have this hard time sending emails out to many people. And sometimes uh, our communication uh, gets lost in, in, in this between. And, and, and it's so hard to keep track of our changes, the latest revision, the latest version of our files, our, our project reports. So with Power BI, we can embed uh, our reports on more collaborative uh, platforms like Microsoft Teams, like SharePoint, or you can just uh, share a, a web link where all the, the interaction and all the interactive report uh, can be consumed by the people who you are targeting, right? Uh, and there is no need for the people who are consuming this uh, to have Power BI installed in their, in their machines, in their laptops. So that's really great. And um, finally, we have this really easy a uh, way to design our dashboards our report because it's just drag and drop so you have your data the different data fields and you just drag them on the screen and you will start populating your reports with a, such an ease that anyone can learn so you have so many data visualizations by default in power bi like pie charts, uh, bar charts, you have a waterfall chart. So, so many different ways you can visualize your data and it's so easy to make them through. Okay, so this kind of Power BI in a nutshell and I hope you, you got a really good understanding. And if you have been uh, kind of dealing and suffering, trying to, to uh, grangling data within Excel, so Power BI is the solution for you guys. And I totally, 
uh, can tell you this because I have transformed the entire way my company in the UK is been delivering that the project reports just because we move from Excel to Power BI. So that's great, Giancarlo. Thanks for sharing uh, what Power BI is all about. Um, uh, but can you share a bit uh, the transformation you've gained by incorporating Power BI into your project reports and why we should really consider moving away from Excel and more toward Power BI? Yeah, that's a wonderful question, Shere. Uh, and I think that kind of that the benefits we can get of Power BI is, is, is you, you can kind of make a, a real transform, a, a real digital transformation just by starting your journey with Power BI. And just to, to share kind of a, a quick uh, view of what this means. This is an example I have, and, I, and this is a real example I have developed and kind of uh, implement in my day-to-day -day job. And this is kind of uh, how we understand the, the, the problem, right? And, and how we usually, traditionally, we have been dealing with data in our projects. Um, basically, if you are using, for example, Primavera P6 to kind of build up your shadows, uh, you will have a screen like that where you are inputting, uh, entering all the data, all the duration, listing activities, WBSs, and, and so on. And then you may have an, an, another set of spreadsheets where you kind of extract information from P6, try to paste them on, a, on an Excel and try to figure out your way just to see how you can communicate that to our to your target audience like that, that top management your uh, um, uh, any type of man management that will consume these reports right so now what we are trying to do uh, here in, in my project in my day-to-day -day world we have to switch from this scenario uh, to, to this one where you ex ex uh, Forget about using basically spreadsheets because you don't want to have this middleman. You don't want to have these intermediate steps between the data source, that in, in this case is P6, and the report. You want a direct connection. So anything you change, anything you uh, update on P6 can be automatically uh, shown and depicted on a tool and on a reporting tool such as Power BI. So that the next step will be to have something like this as an output, and that screen you see on your on, uh, in front of you, that's a real uh, use case we develop for our project. So basically, you are looking here in this in this in this screen, and you can see the P80, and we we call P80 is that uh, uh, kind of confidence of 80%, and we're going to meet those dates. So you can see that that P80 variance. So how our completion days is moving, and what is that? A difference against the PAT that is with the, the confidence of the risk at 80%. So you can see the fluctuation over here and you can make sure what is the trend over time and that you can get off P6 immediately just because your planner or your planning team has updated, has done their job and has updated uh, their P6, you can get these insights immediately and you can get track of all that different submissions. If you can see here, we have the submission from January 2020 up to March 21. And then we can see how this is evolving over time. And this is amazing because you don't need any sort of a spreadsheet to get this. This is just extracting information directly from the, the data source tool that is P6. And you can have so many other insights, uh, like for example, schedule quality score, we have 89% over here overall, but you can see uh, across uh, over time, also the fluctuations you can get uh, in the schedule integrity assessment. And this is really, really great stuff that we can get without spending any time on a spreadsheet, just by connecting and setting up, set it, setting up our reporting tool. In so hopefully that gives you a really good a uh, understanding of what you can get uh, off a uh, Power BI once you have implemented this in your day-to-day -day job. Fantastic, Jean Carlo. That's uh, that's amazing, and I really like the fact that you said you can connect your data source directly to Power BI and generate the report, remove all, all the spreadsheets and middlemen in between. So imagine the amount of time that you can save by connecting your data directly to its data source to the live data, and having those uh, reports populated, especially the reports that Jean Carlo showed you out of schedule. You know. 
even with P6 Primover or any other scheduling so tools, we don't have that much flexibility when it comes to the visuals and graphics and um, uh, analysis of the schedule. So imagine the capabilities that you can gain by incorporating Power BI into your reporting, not only the amount of time that you can save in generating the report by connecting directly to the data source, but also the fantastic visuals and KPIs and health checks and analysis that you can done um, that really what are some of the major roles that we have in project controls to make sure that we are appraising the team of the issues. So I believe Power BI can help you to do that, automating your process, help you analyze your reports more and save you a ton of time in gathering and consolidating data. That's really amazing. So if you are listening to this video or watching this and have not yet incorporated Power BI into your project reporting, you might be falling behind. It's time to start learning and applying it and adopting Power BI. And the good news we have, Jim Carla and I at Project Control Academy has teamed up and developed a very comprehensive, practical, step-by-step -step guide tailored for project control professionals on how to incorporate Power BI into your project reporting from the cost all the way to the schedule so that you can really transform your project reporting. So if you're interested, check the link on this video and um, join us on this training so you can really be ahead of the curve by learning this new technology and saving a ton of time in generating reports. Thanks again, Jim Coyle, for sharing your insights on Power BI.